do you love to compete? If they struggle with that answer, it's probably not a player I'm going to recruit very long. You know, I think that's it. If you play chess, do you compete? If you play basketball, do you compete? If you're playing cards against your mom, do you compete? You know, I want guys that hate to lose. I always think that you should start with yourself. I'm competing against my best. As a player, that's your goal. Is when I walk out on that field, I practice the best I've ever practiced. And that meeting, that's the best meeting I could have had. You know, when I get into the game, I want to play my best game to date. And taking that mindset, all we can practice so that we can do that on game day. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. Discover how your electric cooperative can help you control your energy use at EmpowerMeNC.com. Okay, it's time to belly up to the bar because it's the last call to save big on 2017 Ford F-Series. Cash in on the truck that hauls the most and has more efficiency at the pump with an EcoBoost engine and a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body. Time to get in on America's best-selling trucks 40 years running. Because you snooze, you lose, pal. Get 10,837 total savings on a 2017 F-150. Plus, first responders get an additional 1,000 at your Carolina Ford dealer. There's something out there driving you, calling you, pulling you in closer and closer. And once you find it, it starts all over again. Where will your curiosity take you? Us, you know, it's a, a week where we want to be a better team in week three than we were in week two. And, and regardless of who we play, that's going to be what we talk about. And uh, that's all we talked about yesterday is what did you put on tape in week two? What are the things that you're proud of that you want to repeat? And what are the things that you're not proud of that you want to uh, correct? And same thing as a coaching staff, you know, what did we put on tape? What can we do better for our players or with our players to help them? There's two competitors, I think, all the time. You should always be competing against your own self. You know, I think we are our own worst enemies in a lot of cases, and we get complacent. You know, whatever you did yesterday, if you thought it was really good, then you owe it to yourself to make that the bar and be better than that the next day. 
And then the second one's the person across from you that you're in that one-on-one -on -one matchup with on Saturday. So you're trying to learn about your new enemy every week. This week it's Furman, you know, so what does that guy possess on the other side of the ball that inhibits me and I have to be able to attack his weaknesses? You've got to learn to be intrinsically motivated if you want to be a great athlete. It ain't good enough, man. Compete. It's called, it's called competition Tuesday. Hey, hey, Ingram, that's pretty good. That's good, 25. Oh, my goodness. Hey, good catch. Good catch. Hey, 25, that's pretty good coverage, man. I think some guys are just born with it, you know. Some guys are just born with that competitive nature, and, and, and it starts when you're in grade school, you know, when you're playing freeze tag or it, you know. Um, can you not get touched or get out, you know, when you're playing kickball as a kid, you know. Um, how many times can you run around the base, you know, when you're playing flag football, how many touchdowns can you score, how many tackles you can break, you know. And so, um, or if you're in a working world, you know, um, if you're a writer, you know, how many books can you write? How, um, 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 how much better is your book than the next person's book? And so I think we all, to a degree, have a competitive nature, but I think really, really good coaches find a way to bring it out of players. You gotta go, more head. you gotta go. And reduce that shoulder, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. It should be like that, and it should be hard as you can. Right, hard as you can, because you wanna make him block down. If he don't block down, you try to block it. You, we don't know which one of you guys are gonna come free. So you gotta go like you gonna block it. Come on, Jay, come on, Jay. Good. Get off the ball, get off the ball. Good, good, good. Yep. Whether it's verbally challenging them, mentally challenging them, you know, and, and just doing it on a continual basis, because um, I think everybody has it, but I think you as a coach, you know, you have to be able to push your guys to really, really go out there and get it, you know, and, 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 and some guys are just, some guys are better at it than others, uh, than, than others, you know, and, and they just have that gene, as some would say, you know what I'm saying? And so um, I think when you're recruiting a guy, as a coach and you and you notice that from that guy immediately, like that's like the oh I like this kid, I want this kid ball. There you go, Morrison. Find the football. There you go, Zay. Good job. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Hey, hey, bring your feet. Bring your feet, bring your feet. All right. Don't just stop. Bring your feet. You gotta ID the formations. We must ID the formations. That's the most important thing. All right, then we gotta have good eyes. All right, understand on them orbits and them jets, you got to come to the next thing, all right? And we ain't counting the home back, all right? Understand, we got one-on-ones. Let's, let's be perfect, man. Let's be perfect. Let's create takeaways. Hey, focus and compete. I don't think most coaches would be in the, in, in the position that, that they're in if they didn't have that competitive nature. You know, um, I think at the end of the day, everybody wants to be, everybody wants to be successful, right? Everybody wants to have the best defense, the best offense, you know, um, be the best recruiter, you know, um, um, be the best teacher. You know, and, and part of that is just competition, you know, and I, I think your guys, your players in general in your room thrive off of that from you. Good, Moorhead. If you have that competitive spirit, one play isn't gonna beat you. You know, you're gonna always, you're gonna always try to get better. You're gonna always challenge yourself. You're gonna always scrap for that football, you know, no matter what happens. Even if you get beat on a play, you still gonna try to get the ball back, you know. And so I just think having that mentality, um, I, I, I think it's defining to a, a really good football player. Litton wants to throw inside screen to Rodriguez, fumbles it. And that might be North Carolina State football. I just spoke to the defense prior to the game starting. I, I challenged them. I challenged them to get takeaways. And, 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 and I told them when they do get one, bring it to me. I forgot that I said that, and then when they when they was when they were running over, I thought they were gonna give me a chest bump or something, and and all of them just brought me the football. And Coach Dorn was standing to me, he was standing next to me one time, and he kind of just looked and laughed. You know, I th I think being a really really good defense, we talk about swarming to the football, we talk about guys getting in the camera club and always being in the picture when when um, when the play's over. You know, to see those guys make plays and get turnovers and and and, and bring them to me, you know, or, or bring them to a defensive coach, um, I, I thought it was pretty gratifying. No way. That's buckets. No, it's not. Oh! So close, but no cigar, man. I'm telling you, I got the best arm out here. Hey, Mecca, go, go long. Hey, Mecca. Hey, Mecca, go up, Mecca. Get it, get it take from me. You got to throw? Yeah, I'm about to try to catch a little bit more. Let, let's, see, let's see who can throw further. Huh? Let's see who can throw further. Me, hey, tell me who take right better, me and Steph. And Mecca going. He said he's trying to catch. Oh. Come on, throw it, Steph. I got it. My brother, he was always faster than me. So, 
Growing up, I was competed in beat him in a race. So it was just like always competition between us. You know, I grew up with like my cousins, my brother. So like just like Madden and stuff or just playing in the park, we just always been competitive. And the loser, we usually like, you know, make fun of him. So it was like a sad feeling to lose. So I just never liked to lose. So that feeling just grew with me. I gotta watch that extension a little bit. Like in high school, my recruiting process was slow. You know, a lot of people thought I went to a small school, so I ain't have, I ain't played top competition in high school. So, you know, a lot of people didn't offer me, so I just kept competing, going to camps, college camps, never gave up, so that definitely helped me. Right on the head. Go ahead, Mecca. I got you. Right in the end zone. You ready? Oh, baby, get that, get that, what? That was okay. That was perfect. I feel like being a competitor is just like my biggest attribute. You know, I just like compete everything I do. Like even like the defense is our teammates, but when we're out there against each other, like I don't like to talk to them. Like I see them as like the enemy. It's just like that competition I have. And then off the field, you know, we're good, but it's just like that competition I got in me. I just hate to lose. Watch him now, he's trying to see. Look, he twisted. You saw that, right? Uh huh. Slipping. Uh -huh. Ah! Balls gripping. The balls gripping. Nah, don't try to pull it. Yeah, come on, come on. Ah! I'm always competing on every play. Like when the ball's in the air, it might look like it's out of my reach. But I always compete, even sometimes if I don't get it, I always give it my 100% best, try to get the ball, just competing all the time. So I felt like if I was such a competitor, I probably would've quit. Now I'll say, hey. Come on, bro, that's it, stride. Oh my goodness. That was a flick. That was a flick. What's the quote you live by? Live when you die. Live when you die. How that apply to football? You're getting better, you're getting worse. You're getting worse, you're dying. Dying on the depth chart. Yeah, everybody got the same 24 hours. Mm -hmm. You live and you die. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> There's something out there driving you, calling you, pulling you in closer and closer. And once you find it, it starts all over again. Where will your curiosity take you? With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad.
Discover how your electric cooperative can help you control your energy use at EmpowerMeNC.com. Good morning and welcome to game number three of the Wolfpack's 2017 football season. We are very, very happy to have you with us as we catch you down to kickoff. Our location, Carter Finley Stadium, and we're here to see if the Wolfpack can uh, take another step forward today against the Paladins of Furman University. Mark, we win the game. Get the ball back. Get the ball back. The only thing that matters, get the ball back, Chubb. Get the ball back. Arias, get the ball back. Moorhead, get the ball back. Boom, get the ball back. Only thing that matters, fellas. Only thing. Let's start fast now, Red. Let's go. Get in here tight. Get in here. Let's go. Get in here. Let's go. You ready to have some fun? Yeah. Start fast, man. 60 minutes. You don't get it back. Every single play, you guys know what you got to do. Now go do it. You got me? Yes, sir. Let's have fun freaking doing it. Compete on two, one, two. Compete. There's the fireworks in the background as the Wolfpack comes out of the tunnel and onto the field here at Carter Finley Stadium. First down and 10 for the 25. Here's a pitch around the right side to Gordon. Gordon lined up as a wing back, and the pack's going to drop him for a big loss of about three yards near the right sideline. He will fake, and then pitch to Moorhead around the right side. Turns the corner, 50-yard line, into pack territory, down the right sideline. Third and long for the pack, 28. Blazdowski, two-step drop. He's in trouble. He's going down. With 9.53 remaining in the first quarter. Here's Finley rolling slightly to the right, fires right, caught by Harmon, and he's brought down from behind. Finley under center, handoff, Samuels, he's got a hole over the left side, 40-yard line, tripped up, and down he goes at about the 39. That's a 10-yard gain. Here's a handoff, and it is going to Hines. He breaks a tackle into the secondary to the 20-yard line, finally thrown down by two defenders at the 20. Going to Samuels, Samuels uh, over the goal line, touchdown. Jalen Samuels with a rushing touchdown. And the Wolfpack has the lead. In the pocket, stands tall, fires over the middle. Tip, and Samuels has grabbed it at the 40-yard line of Furman, and down he goes. He fakes to Steph Lewis. Now he'll fire toward the right corner of the end zone. Wide open receiver. Caught, touchdown. Touchdown state, it's Jamichael Ramos. Moorhead in motion. Moorhead will take a pitch around the left side, and he fought down from behind and a great one-on-one -on -one tackle by Catavia Street. Here's the boot. It's going to be short. Hines will take it along the left sideline at the nine-yard line. Brings it to the middle at the 15. He orbits his way right. He's got a field. 30-yard line, 40, still moving, stumbling, 45-50, and brought down all the way to the Furman 44-yard uh, line. One comes in motion and takes a pitch. It's Samuels around the left side. Samuels turns a corner, 30-yard line, down the sideline, 25, bounced out of bounds. Finley fakes the handoff, back to throw, looking, looking, guns it down the hash, caught by Samuels. He took a wicked hit, but he hangs on. Handoff going to Hines over the right side. Hines the five, down close to the goal line. Now Finley goes in motion. It's the direct snap to Samuels. He'll go straight ahead, dives for the end zone. Touchdown, State. Set the man in motion, rolls to his left. He's under seat. He's brought down by Darian Roseboro. And here's Blaze Jowski rolling. He's penned in. Down he goes again. Hey, Roseboro. Yeah. Got a couple right there, right? Finley to throw. Guns at left side. Caught by C.J. Riley. Breaks a tackle 30 and is out close to the 34-yard line. Hand off Hines. He's got a little bit of a crease into the secondary. 50-yard line, 45. Take care of the ball. They rush four. Finley has time. There's it out right side. Caught by Harmon. Slips a tackle at the 20, the 15, all the way to the 11-yard line.
seconds left in the half. First and goal to go. Hand off left side and carrying into the end zone to Samuels for a touchdown. That'll be the final play of the first half. The first half dominated by the Wolfpack offense. The pack leads here at the break, 28 to 13. Managing the perimeter, you guys are doing a good job. All right, we're going to get limited possession. Young guys, I'm going to get you guys back in, so you guys got to maximize your opportunities, all right? Maximize your opportunities, clean football. No mistakes, all right? No mistakes. We got no takeaways right now. Offense, we didn't stop one time. We got 30 minutes. Nobody lets down. Finish on two, one, two. Finish. Finish. Hey, great job on our technique, right? Good split. Good split. Protect first. Finley throws, it's caught on the right hash by Samuels at the 45-yard line. Finley unloads over the middle. Ball is caught at the 35-yard line. Running right is Steph Lewis, and he's run out of bounds. Handoff, Hines on a slant run to the right. Breaks the tackle, 20, 15, 10, he's gone! Touchdown, Wolfpack! Hey, Heath, good job, baby. Good job, good job, good job baby. That's all y'all want. Pitch to Moorhead around the right side. The Packs got him stood up. They throw him down. Darian Roseborough just blew that play up. They sent Gordon in motion. Blazjowski with a uh, pass. It is picked off by Sean Boot. 50 yard line to the 40, 30, 20. He's gone. Touchdown State. That's what I'm talking about, oh, boo. Yeah. Boo. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. It's a moment. I'm going to let you shine, but we got to turn my career pick. Pack rushes four. Steps up. He is scrambling and brought down from behind. I think he got back in the line of scrimmage. Ball might have hit the ground. The ball did pop loose before he hit the ground, and it looks like NC State has it. Finley hands to Nichols over the right side, breaks the tackle to the five. Still moving, legs moving. He's across the goal line, touchdown. They fake the pitch. Now they fake it twice. The ball's on the ground, and State's got it. Oh! Oh! Justin, you got it. I see it. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. We're down to 20 seconds. The pack doesn't have to snap it. Dave Dorn's heading to midfield. Final score as the clock goes to zero. State 49, Furman 16. State continues its dominance of non-conference opponents under Dave Dorn. How about that one pack? Yeah! I do got a game ball though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. First Sean Boone. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Touchdown, man. Offense, great job. Y'all had five sure. rushing touchdowns today. Great job. Getting the ground. <laughs> Zero turnovers again. Defense, three takeaways, one for a score. Great job, defense. <laughs> Third straight game, guys. I'm telling you now, fourth quarter. You haven't given up a touchdown all year on D in the fourth quarter, man. Good work it, fellas. That's a big time That's finish out of y'all. All right, now. ACC football. Here we go. Yeah. So take care of your bodies. Be smart. We're back to work tomorrow. Let's go get forward to stay. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, shower party in my crib. Yes. <laughs> what? Family on two, one, two. Hey. There's something out there driving you, calling you. Pulling you in, closer and closer. And once you find it, it starts all over again. Where will your curiosity take you? Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics.
With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. Discover how your electric cooperative can help you control your energy use at EmpowerMeNC.com. You got me falling hard, sweet baby. You got me falling hard for you. It's you. I felt this way before. You know it's you. It's you. You got me more and more. Oh, you got me falling hard. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, bringing real Coke taste with zero sugar and zero calories to Wolfpack fans everywhere. I want everybody on this team to understand something, all right? Earlier this week, I asked my players, are you in love with football? I ain't really care to know the answer, but my question to you is, are you in love with football? This thing right here has changed my life. It's changed my life. This is the only thing that matters today. It's life changing. Go out and get it, it's yours. It's life changing. It's life changing. If you want it, go and get it. The next man got it, you want it, go and get it. It's life changing. Took me out the hood. Got me a college degree. Got me a master's. If you want it, go and get it. Every player that a coach recruits, he wants that player to be the best player. That he can be. He wants that player to go to the NFL, have a long career, but everybody isn't gonna have a JJ Watt story. Like, that's just the reality of it. You know, everybody isn't going to the NFL. So how can I help when this young man leaves here? How can I make how can I make sure as a coach that he is an asset to society? Like, how can I make sure as a coach that he is that, that he is an asset to this society? We live in a day and age where, I mean, unfortunately, these young men, they, they can't make mistakes. They can't, they can't, they can't. And if they do, um, they're scrutinized and, and, and they're put on this platform to where it's, it's, it's unfortunate. You know, it's very, very, very unfortunate. And I know some of them deserve it 100 percent, you know, but um, um, it, it, it's, it's always anticipating problems. I mean, I talk about that in my room 24-7. I, I give them real life examples of guys who made mistakes and it's cost them their life, their career. This game exposes people that are soft. It exposes people that, that aren't thick skinned, that can't hand, handle criticism. Um, you know, I met with a player earlier today and I said, I'm not afforded a day of weakness as a coach. I could never walk in the room and, and be woe as me in front of the players. I could never do that and be a head coach. And as a player that wants to be a leader, and that was our conversation, you don't get to do that. You know, privately, yeah, you can think like that, but publicly or in front of team or in front of media or in front of parents or recruits, we always have to be strong. We always have to be competitive. And, and that's what you want in a coach. That's what you want in a great player. And, and that's honestly what you want in your leadership in our country. I mean, all those things, you want that person that no matter what, they're gonna be strong for you. Feels all right.